am Dr. Sashi Kumar, not a medical doctor, mathematician. Basically, I am a mathematics person, PhD is in mathematics, scientist in the department of space. Okay. I am with Ramakrishna Mat for so many years, not talking on physics or math, but talking on physics of mind. I teach here communication skill, personality development. I think he has attended many of the courses. You have attended. Okay. Personality development, communication skill, power of positive thinking, confidence building. Most of the courses I have one or two classes. What I do is I try to um, compare Western management, Western science, Western philosophy, Western culture with Indian style. So I also learned a little bit of Tantra, Mantra, doing Pujas, Astrology, Vastu, most of the therapies which we have. That's my background. And also learn similar to that whether what is existing in the other part of the world and try to compare that's what I do. I don't know what should I tell you now. Having heard me earlier, you tell me what is that you want. Any suggestions? You are parents, now you are here as parents, right now? You are here as parents. Now you are here as parents, right? We are looking role models for children. How to be a role model for your children? So we will see what is that we want, that is what our kids also want, right? What is that we want in life? That's where I can ask most of the questions. Assume that I am God for some time and I am in front of you and ask you what is that you want in life? What you will say? Peace of mind. Some people want peace of mind. You have back pain. I'll come, come here. Your back pain will go. Come closer. Back pain is a psychological problem. So we want always to lean. What is that you want? Peace of mind. Then happiness. Contentment. Contentment. How many of you want contentment? Raise your hands. You will get only that. No peace of mind, no happiness. Only one. God will give you only one thing. You cannot ask many chocolates. So you don't want. Those who want peace of mind, only that, no happiness. You will, ne you will never be happy in your life. You will be peace of mind, peaceful. No, once God decides you will have peace of mind, you will have peace of mind only, no happiness. You want healthy, you will be very healthy but always sad. <laughs> yes, possible. Not all healthy people are happy. So what is that you want? No, only one thing. God doesn't know many things, that's the biggest problem. There is a poem in Malayalam which says, any Kerala's? No, wonderful. Okay. I am a Kerala's. God doesn't know the requirements. God doesn't know sadness. God doesn't know happiness. Because Nirvikara, Nirmama, etc. etc. Because God does not understand feelings. Before he feels, he gets it. Therefore, God doesn't. That's a point. Forget about it. So you, everyone in the world want happiness, nothing else. You want to be healthy because you want happiness. You want to be contented because you want happiness. Everything ends in happiness. So what is that you want? Happiness. All of us want to be happy. But are you really happy? No. What we don't have is happiness. We have everything else. 
Some people will have everything in the world except happiness. Those people we call comfortably uncomfortable. You will have everything but still you are not happy. What is the way to be happy? There is a shortcut to be happy. What is that? Just be happy. <laughs> as simple as that. Just be happy. Don't worry. When you will be unhappy? Expectations. Your desire, karma. Your karma is more, then you will become unhappy. If your desire is more, you become unhappy. So what is to be done? Control your karma. Desire has to be reduced. All our three Vedas, Rig Veda, Ejur Veda, Sama Veda, tells us how to control your desire. But we don't know how to control our desire. <coughs> you know that as parents, the first feeding of food is called the Anna Prasna, right? That time there is a chanting, one sloka to be chanted. Anyone knows that? So as parents you don't know. <laughs> Wonder. As parents also I never knew when I was feeding my son. But later I studied. In the Rig Veda, there is a chanting which says Shanno, Dvipade, Shan, Chatushpade, etc. etc. That's a big, big sloka. I will tell you only the essence. When we give food to our son, what is that we will pray? Let him get food every day. That's what we pray, right? No? But Rukhveda Mantra says, Let him have food only the day when every two-legged animal has sufficient food and when all four-legged animals have sufficient food and then let my son have a single day, a single meal. You see how good we were. None of the father who fed, who knows Rigveda Mantra chanted, let my son have sufficient food, even if everybody else is starving in the world. <laughs> Only we can see this is what every parent should feel. Let my son have his meal only when everybody in the world gets sufficient food. That unselfish work. Indian philosophy and Indian rituals. That's what we teach. Let everybody happy, be happy, then you can be happy. If your people around you are unhappy, then you can never be happy. When you become upset, when you become unhappy, your kids also will become unhappy. We want our kids to be happy only ways you be happy. And for becoming happiness, whatever you have, your neighbors should have, everyone should have the same thing. If they are poor, then you will become unhappy. But today, when neighbors are richer, we are unhappy. <laughs> the world has become just reverse. If the neighbor has a car, you also will have a car. But if neighbor has a better car and you have a worse car, then you are unhappy. Right? No? Your happiness depends on not what you have, the happiness depends on what your neighbor does not have. But I have cell phone. And Nizam did not have a cell phone. Correct, no? Nizam never had a cell phone. I have an AC car. Nizam never had an AC car. Whatever Nizam don't have, I have. Am I happier than Nizam? No. Because today every auto rickshaw driver also has cell phone. That is my problem. <laughs> if I only have cell phone and no other people have cell phone, then I will be happy. I will feel great. So my happiness depends on what others do not have. That is the biggest problem we have. So we always look around and then see what is that he has. But then assume I am going to a palace and then I am seeing lot of 
nice caps which cap the lord used I mean the king used or the picture of a king with a lot of ornaments put will i look at that and say see i don't have this we will never feel right no when a nice palace is seen i am not thinking that i don't have a house like this and i will become unhappy i will never but when i go to my colleague's house i will see a nice sofa then i will feel i don't have this sort of a sofa so our desire also we know were to stop we are not too ambitious but we just jump into next but when we reach next level we will jump into next when we reach there we will jump into next our desire is also not too much but gradually improve when i am seeing sushmita sen i don't think that my wife has to be like this because i know my wife cannot be like that but when i am seeing a nice lady in the neighborhood i will see oh my wife is not this beautiful <laughs> because we know the desire in the neighborhood we are limited all the time but our vedas will tell you how to control even that and you do puja for that all of us by some time we must have gone to temple or every day people will go to temple and the priest also will chant what is that they will chant what for the puja is conducted to be happiness only but not directly become happy what for vairagya vairagya sidhyartham you heard the chanting samarpayami whatever you want to either rice or ghee or flour or money whatever you are giving to god for what vairagya sidhyartham what is vairagya sidhyartham vairagya means not having desire leaving everything but will you leave everything <laughs> you will give one flower little money but are you really leaving it you are not leaving it you are thinking you are still seeing it <laughs> correct no when you give money you will think about the money and when you come back home husband will ask you or wife will ask you what is that you have given at when 100 rupees that means you have not left it <laughs> 100 rupees is there in your mind so when you give something you should forget if you don't forget you have not left it you are still carrying it with you and what is that you want what for you are giving vairagya sidhyartham i don't have desire but then after some time you will say i want this contract to be passed this promotion to be obtained my son have to get pass mark but starting you will say i don't require anything but after some time you will ask god i want this big list will be given to poor fellow what god will listen whether the first sentence or the last sentence you will call god telling that i don't require anything and then you will give a big list actually fooling god no puja doing anything will give you some gift from god god is not going to give you anything take it from me i am a close friend of god i know he told tells me every time i am not going to give anything to anybody they have to take themselves so why puja is being that why the agya sidhyartham i don't have desire i don't require anything he will tell like that but then he will give requirements so he is not going to hear and none of us are listening to god therefore god will not listen to us not none of us many of us why today is there anybody who get woke up you will wake up but realized that you woke up at 4:32 and then got up from bed any one of you got up from the bed by 4:30 before 4:30 yeah 4:00 mm-hmm. the brahma will call you in the early morning how did you get up how did you get up who woke you up normal you yourself no ala no time please how did you know that you had to get up regularly you wake up like that that day fine you know when you will wake up in the morning 
when you will wake up in the morning or how you are waking up in the morning automatically who is calling you some sound there. to listen sound you should wake up first when you are in deep sleep you will not listen sound you heard brahma mahurtam no who is the brahma the brahma will call you shashi kumar get up i will say poda sir i don't listen to him the first call from the god himself when we are sleeping early morning the god will wake you up wake up wake up wake up call first wake up call comes from god then we are sleeping on left turn we will take a right turn hold the bed sheet and then sleep again <laughs> god wants you to get up but we will not get up so the first call from the god itself we don't care then every day morning till evening you will call god will he listen to you when you don't listen to him therefore we have to get up as soon as you wake up when you wake up what will happen we will become unhappy when sleeping we are happy when we are with god no desire nothing we don't remember anything nothing is required while sleeping we are happy but while getting up we are unhappy once our eye is opened we become unhappy this is the biggest problem we have while sleeping we are happy while getting up we are waking up we are unhappy why because we want our kids to be better we want our family to be greater we want a larger space we want a bigger house we want a better car we want a better job we want a better everything becomes better will you be happy still you will not be happy so what gives us happiness what gives you happiness not having desire but if you don't have desire you will never do anything in this world so for desire is required if you don't have desire nobody will construct a house you will not get married you will not make your sons to study they will not get a job the whole world will not progress so you need to have desire you need to have desire you should never be satisfied don't get satisfied now i am a scientist that's enough no i am not to happy i want to go higher and higher i have little knowledge not enough i should have more and more i have little fame but not enough i want more and more i have little money more and more but never become unhappy on the situation you understood the difference i am happy but i am unsatisfied your son got first rank not enough he should get zero to rank <laughs> go higher if he gets 95% not enough should get 98% not enough 100% not enough more than that never get satisfied but be happy why we are unhappy i said we will compare right no how do we compare in the class if we get first rank are we happy you are happy second rank you are not happy because you will say compare the first rank fellow he is very good the neighbor son no how intelligent he is <laughs> that's what we will scold right no you see that prasad wonderful boy no why can't you be like him then your son will ask you you see my prasad's uh, mother she is so beautiful you are not that beautiful <laughs> we will start comparing people and then become unhappy yes you your nose you compare with the mouth your nose you are comparing with your mouth and the mouth says see you can i can put so many items inside nose cannot put no <laughs> and you start scolding mouth and nose starts fighting what will happen so every individual have their property their character their constitution you cannot compare me with somebody else your son is your son and he is not your neighbor son if it is not okay <laughs> so guarantee 
So you can never compare your son with your neighbor's son. That's a big mistake. You are better, yes, better than yesterday. If you are not better than yesterday, you are bad. Every day you improve. I am good only when I am slightly improved than yesterday. If I compare myself with the neighbor, I have given example, my neighbor has a good car, my neighbor has a cell phone, my neighbor has... Similarly, the kids also should never be compared to your neighbor's kids. What is that we want in life to be happy? Everything is there, but you don't have independence, swadhandra. Will you be happy? We want to be independent. Freedom. Every one of us want freedom. If you don't have freedom, you will never be happy. Do we have really freedom? Do we have freedom to eat as we want? No. Assume that today I am seeing a nice buffet lunch in some hotel. While going back to Malkajigiri in the road, the road I saw in some new hotel open. I am feeling like going and having lunch at the inauguration day. It says free 25 seats available. I feel like going and eating. Then I will think I cannot because my wife must have already cooked food and then she is waiting. If I eat here, she will eat me. <laughs> so my freedom is stopped by my wife. She gives me food in the plate. But then, I am not feeling like eating today. Because after the class, there will be a tiffin session. So I had some little bit of tiffin. But when I went back home, she asked me to have lunch. I said, I don't require this much. Why? You don't like my sambar or what? No, 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 no problem. I will eat. <laughs> then for whom we are eating? For the happiness of wife, not my happiness. Then what will happen? Whatever to be thrown in the dustbin, I will throw in my stomach. So this becomes the best dustbin in the world. And after some time, I will become unhappy. Correct, no? We feed our kids. What we do? Feed our kids. Is there any mother here who says, you eat peacefully, happily, slowly, enjoy eating, Eat fast, no? <laughs> Correct, no? Finish it and go. Is it finish it and go? If you cannot enjoy eating, whatever food you eat becomes waste inside. Brahma Arpanam, Brahma Havir, Brahma Agnav, Brahma Nahudam, Brahma Ivanena Gandhavyam, Brahma Karma Samadhina. Eating has to be considered as Brahma Karma, yes, Yaga, Yetna, Sacrifice. As you are doing Yaga, how do you do? Chant Mantra and then put inside. Little bit only. Chant Mantra and put inside. Will you put the whole Dappa inside that and then say finish it off? Will you do like this? So eating has to be a Brahma Karma. As a Yetna, slowly eat. Then what will happen? Then you will become creative. Brahma Karma is for making creative. Then you will become creative. Your kid will become, son will become creative, intelligent. Only when they eat properly. So eating is a big yetna. Allow your kids to eat slowly, happily, enjoyable. If they don't eat properly, they will not become intelligent. Enjoy eating. If you don't enjoy eating, you don't enjoy sleeping, you don't enjoy studying, you don't enjoy working, you don't enjoy playing. Will you be happy? Enjoy cooking. If you don't enjoy cooking, don't cook, get parcel. Enjoy cooking, how nice, I am a good cook, I cook nice food. Enjoy cooking. If you don't enjoy, don't do that. Because when you don't, when you don't enjoy, start scolding the karma. And then put this, your karma will go inside the food. So when they eat, they will eat your karma. 
they will fall sick. Assume you are happy and then cook and give that will have a better taste. Welcome is the source to meet. There is an English proverb. Welcome is the source to meet. You give food but if you don't say please eat, eat, <laughs> that is enough. That saying have got a better way. Give food happily. Eat food happily. What you eat, that you will be. You are what you eat. There is a book called the Microbiotics. You will get it on the railway station, Higgin Bottoms bookshops also. You are what you eat. Your character depends on the way you eat, how you eat. We can assess people by seeing the way they are eating. A good person will enjoy eating, he will know what is his character. He will enjoy many things in the world. If you don't enjoy eating, you don't. You can see the Brahmins and all, no? Old Brahmins, they will... <laughs> see the face, they will know. But if you eat, that food will not be that tasty. Manor Enjana Enjana Yengil Chano Kundi Sammandi, my mother used to tell in the childhood. If your mind is good, you will enjoy anything. You have prepared nice idli. Your husband says chutney is very bad. Your neighbor's chutney is wonderful, as if every day he is eating that. <laughs> Otherwise, how do you know the chutney is good? Neighbor's chutney is very good. So one day the wife decided I will get neighbor's chutney. So idli only is there. Where is chutney? No, 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 I will get it from neighbor. So she went outside, took chutney in a plate and then served. So husband took chutney, wonderful, very good. Then after that, all idlis are finished, he said, if your mind is good, cow dung will become chutney for you. <laughs> so what was brought from the neighbor's house? It was not chutney, it was cow dung. You understood, no? <laughs> so if your mind is good, even cow dung will feel like chutney. So why somebody does not like the food? Because they don't like the person who you are feeding. If you are not good to your husband, whatever you feed will have either salt more or kara more or that. Something will be problem. So when some problem is raised, that means you don't like them. Assume you are scolding your son, what does it mean? You don't like them. And that's all. Assume you are getting angry to son, what does it mean? You don't like them. If you are liking your son, you will never scold your son. I never got scolding from my mother. Can you believe? In my life, my mother never scolded. Childhood also no chance. Because he had, he, she had uh, 12 kids. We never had a chance to go to mother. <laughs> Childhood, we will manage ourselves. He always play with my brothers and sisters only. And if I want one more extra idli, the grinding was with the hand, it was my sister's job. Eldest sister's job. So eldest sister will bribe me with one more idli tomorrow, you grind it today. <laughs> and mother was sick when I was a small child. So you can imagine, now, when I say this, even with enjoyment, but when I grow, she used to come to Hyderabad. And my wife and my, both of us are scientists in the department of space. Both will go in the early morning. So we need somebody to take care of our kids. Servant mates are not enough. So I bring my mother. When my mother is there, some situations my mother is not there. When my mother is there, if my son gets fever, I am not worried. If my mother is not there, then my son gets fever, I am worried. So what is that my mother gives me? Love. Support, love. Not that my mother can drive a car, not that she knows the telephone number of the doctor, not that she will go and take buy medicine, nothing, no help. But when we have an elder person in house, we will protection. Correct, no? If you cannot give protection to your son, you are useless. Your son should feel, my mother is there to take care of me. 
to bless me. So if you cannot give protection to your son, your daughter, you are useless. If your son's daughter's problem, if they go and tell somebody else, that means you are not their parents. Up to six years, seven years, the kids have to be taken care as gods. As gods. How do you take care of your god? Like that you should take care of your god as gods. From 60 to 14, you should consider them as your servants. Teach them, take stick. But from that onwards, they should be like your friend. My son is an orchid friend of mine. On the internet, we have got orchid group. No? We chat. My dear, they are in Kerala. So every day we chat. So if you don't consider them as your friend, then you are doing a big mistake. This is how kids have to be taken care of. Give them freedom when they have to be given freedom. Control them when you have to control them. And love them when you have to love them. Assume in the childhood you don't love them, in the later life you can never love them. And what will happen after some time, if you don't love them, if you don't teach them, if you don't give them freedom, assume your friend loves somebody. They will go and tell, no, I am loving so and so girl. Will your son have a liberty to come and tell you that I love so and so? Then only you are a friend, you know. If you don't give that freedom, what will happen? I have seen many families. I have taken care of my son, I loved my son, the whole life I have spared for them, but he has cheated me. What? He got married somebody else. Okay. Without asking me, that is the problem. Why he did not ask you? Because he knows you perfectly well. That you will not agree. You will not give them freedom. What is that we want? We want freedom and kids also want freedom, but we don't give them freedom. No freedom to eat, no freedom to take the partner whom they want. So life we need to have. Why we don't want? Because we will see the status. We have a desire. He went against my desire. But he has a desire that we don't consider. What should be our desire? When others are happy, we must be happy. If my kids are happy, I am happy. So make others happy in life. Your whole puja karma is for making others happy. Or if you don't make others happy, doing puja becomes useless. Yena kena prakari yena yasika syati dehi naha sandosham janayat prajna padayivam ishwara pujanam. Making somebody else happy is equal to doing puja. If you don't make happy and do puja, that's not useful. So in life, we must always make somebody happy, give desire, that desire has to be satisfiable, desire has to be there, if there no desire, you don't live in this world, desire has to be there, but limited desire, make them happy, make them independent, some people are very strict in the house, the nice house, no? so beautifully decorated, the Pillow will be kept exactly on the center, no wrinkles on the bed sheet. <laughs> so great family. Right now, I go for Vastu consultation to some houses. I will see nice playing items, toy car or with the remote. Will be there in showcase, so beautifully kept. And I ask somebody, what for and whose playing items are there? That's why for son. Son? What is he doing now? He has completed Peter. Vita completion is 22 years, 20 years, right? No? So 20 years back he purchased toys and it is kept peacefully. What for? His son can play, no? But did you give that to play for your son? No. If he has played with that, will you be able to keep it there? You buy a toy for playing and you don't allow them to play. Nice remote car. My son, as soon as he gets, he will just throw home. 300 rupees, <laughs> bits and pieces. I feel so happy because we don't have to buy another battery, no? otherwise we have to buy battery. 
if we don't allow them to play and keep it nicely in showcase and say I have purchased all these for my son but I have never given <laughs> some houses you will see the triangle or the nice square cushion will be there no? they will keep it diagonal correct no? the diagonal should not change if it goes finished it gets angry housewives are very very strict sometimes and the daughter will sit on the chair and put the leg on to the top why you are sitting like this? if they cannot sit there like this in the house where else they can sit in their life? every dog can sleep upside down putting the leg on to the top that is freedom but as human being we have no freedom very strict when we go to some houses we are scared because if the diagon change is not finished the husband will get a scolding what a friend you have he don't know how to sit on a chair you will see nice TV program some houses jokes will be there but you cannot laugh why you are making noise no? <laughs> if you cannot laugh then what for your house no? why jokes are said so enjoy when you get to see something enjoy my brother was very strict so my brother's wife when she serves tea if sugar is not there we had no freedom to ask drink as it is when mirchi is there inside curry we don't know whether to put it on table or on side of the plate because if you put on table gets cold if you put on the side of the plate they will get cold eat as it is so if you don't have freedom in life you will suffer and you will never enjoy in your life a house have to be neat enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy learn this a house have to be neat enough to be healthy and dirty enough to be happy go back home with pillar throw your husband <laughs> enjoy what to be done enjoy buy two burden one silver one rubber if your husband want to throw you give that let him throw keep a ball football in the house then they get angry give it throw enjoy if you don't enjoy your life becomes boring don't be very strict at home who asked you to keep the glass here why not here two centimeter will make lot of problem what for if you keep it here your hand will smash and then go and then break break let it break what happens a glass breaks how much money will be lost four rupees correct no and for four rupees the whole day you will scold again next day also will start and when Diwali comes 40 rupees padak it makes sound thum, tish. it may not also make sound but still you will be happy 40 rupees gone but happy but here 4 rupees has fallen on the floor you are unhappy correct no it is your mind has to change by mistake if the glass falls from your son enjoy <laughs> be happy nice wonderful sound water splash very good correct no for water splash 200 rupees ticket outside when you go for games what will happen water splash 200 rupees ticket in the house let water splash free of cost <laughs> correct no don't become very strict I just asked them the 9th class day for yesterday I went to a school to teach them the 9th class I asked them how many of you will cook in the house none of them no, I asked you should cook. Then one small child came and asked me, ninth class student, my mother will not agree. When you will learn cooking, I started cooking when I was in seventh class. My son started making tea when I was when he was in fifth class in Hyderabad. We will ask him, today you will prepare tea for me. If you don't learn how to switch off the gas, a day when you fall sick, assume that you have given kept something on the milk on the floor but you have fallen down slipped and then fallen down you wanted your son to go and switch off the gas he says I don't know 
Correct, no? Your son wanted to go and play outside. You will say, don't play, you will fall. <laughs> don't run, you will fall, my son. <laughs> if the son doesn't run, son doesn't... No, that's what we do. The small kids, one and a half year kid wanted to jump onto this chair. You will say, no, you will fall. Let him fall, nothing will happen. But if they don't get trained, in their life, when they wanted to climb up, the legs will start shivering. On the road, when somebody scolds, he will cry. He should have guts to beat him back. Where do we get training? At home. If the teacher asks a question, if he cannot answer, he will start weeping. Yesterday, Deccan Chronicle, center page, Hyderabad, 14 year old girl committed suicide. You have seen the news? Reason, the father is diabetic. The father is diabetic and she committed suicide. Reason may be something but there is some cause that she is more dependent on father and father falls sick, she becomes upset. That is because they are not independent. They are not independent. Make your kids independent. I am not trying to say that life has to be very loosely packed, no. Keep their dress ready. Allow them to keep their dress ready. LKG students can be trained how to. Which dress you will put first, which will be last. Keep it in the daughter, then reverse it and keep it there at night. So that as soon as you get up in the morning, you will go and ask your younger or elder brother to Help them to towel the hair. You don't do it. Allow your brother to do for the other brother, sister to do for the other sister. They will have more love each other. Make them dependent on their brothers and sisters. You don't put your hand everywhere. Tell your son to put salt. Sambar is ready but salt is required. Ask him to put salt. He will put old salt because he never practiced. He doesn't know how much salt is to be put. At house also, I go to some house and ask the housewife how much a tube light will cost. There was a family in Kerala. The husband has got a lot of industries. But he is in cancer now. He is going to die. In one year he is going to die. Two kids are at, one is in Petak, one has gone for some course on pilot to become a pilot. The lady was taken care of, the housewife was taken care of fully by the husband. Everything depends on husband. But he knows that he is going to die next year. So he wanted this wife to involve in business, involve in everything. So far never got involved. Now the requirement came. So he started telling his wife to go for purchase, go to office. Wife says, why now? I will not go. He don't want to tell that he is going to die. The wife thought this man is trying to torture him. The complaint from the wife is, husband is torturing. And it came to me for counselling. I am a psychotherapist and counselling, a family counselling. So they came to me and then that said, this is the problem. Every day fighting at horse. This man don't want to tell that he is going to die. The wife says that this man is torturing. I went to the house, I asked the housewife. How much a tube light costs? One tube light. Once it goes bad, the black, and it starts sprinkling, it will not light. You have to change it. How much it costs? Can you guess? You know, because you are in Hyderabad, <laughs> and you are not very rich. <laughs> Jubilee Hills, you go and ask the housewives there, some housewives, they will guess and tell you 5,000 rupees. This lady told me that tube light costs 5,000 rupees. Because she never purchased. Assume she becomes the manager of the company. Owner of the company after some time. The company will close in one year. Because she doesn't have any idea about the price. Everybody can cheat her, right? Then I told her, this is only this much. This is your general knowledge. If you don't have general knowledge, tomorrow 
not tomorrow maybe after a few years your husband will go and then what will happen you will not be able to we don't know who is going first whether your husband is going or wife is going i do not know my son is going first or wife is going first or i am going first anybody of us can become krishna rama govinda any time correct no and who will remember us who will remember you may come in deccan chronicle 3 cm by 4 cm so and so but everybody will see but we will not remember any of them you will remember only person who are with you so somebody will say somehow this fellow has to die pray so in life if you have to live longer your sons kids have to remember you how do they remember when you do better things for them better what constructing two houses giving lot of bank balance everybody does this that is not enough because when you die when i die my son will take me to benzala pet nice firewood bed he will keep me on that and he will chant this loka vayu anila namutamati nam tasmantam shahiram om krito smara kritam smarami om krito smara kritam smarami krito smara kritam smarami three times they chant vayu anila namutamati nam tasmantam shahiram oh my father you are going to get fire and then you will join in the air and little bit of basmam will come back to me next day you can go and collect next day one packet he will give you 45 grams that is what you are going to be at the end om krito smara what is that you have done you tell me sir what is that you have done the son will ask the father all of us will get this question what is that you have done what is that you have done constructing two houses producing kids everybody does I think they are about this. Good. They should get the name. When I go in my native, I am from a small village in Kerala. When we walk, my three brothers and me, four brothers will walk when we go for vacations. You know. From one end to another end of the road when we walk, everybody will say Namaskar. Namaskar. Whoever sees will say Namaskar. And my brother used to tell me, they are telling Namaskar not because they know you are a scientist, not because they know you have a house in sakandarabad not because they know that you have got this bank balance not because they know that you have msc mphil phd llb mba ms all these degrees are useless for them they just know that you are son of so and so but if you you have a great money big car you are going in a very good car but your father was a bad fellow when you are traveling in the road the people will say this man no we know him <laughs> his father we know him son of so and so so what is that we can give it to the next generation good character good name good name can be given good character can be given character is what becoming happy give happiness to your kids but not through bad means but through good means doing rightful thing and make them happy if you do wrong thing and then be happy that's not good do good thing and make them happy that's why we say whatever karma you do passes from your janma to next janma next generation janma is not you take birth next time your kids are your next janma your next generation is who your own kids so if i am happy just because my father has given me happiness my mother has given me happiness otherwise we will never be happy a mother happy her kids also will have a smiling face if the mother is so gloomy your kids also will have the same character because if they are your kids 100% then whatever quality you have the same quality they will have so if your kids have to be happy you have to have a smiling face and smiling face will have only 64 muscles to work if you are very serious 136 muscles have to work you will die fast smiling people will live longer and sad people will die fast you want to die early or late if you want to 
live a long smile give happiness give happiness to whom whomever you see not just to children when you go for marriage you will remember people only those people who will come and talk to you correct no? thousand people are attending marriage how many people you will remember three four people why they have come and told you your dress looks very good your earrings is beautiful your combing is very good hairstyle is wonderful shirt is good then you will feel very happy why can't you do that don't do it just for doing thing do it from your heart how many of you will tell your son as soon as he dress up you look so beautiful my boy tell them you know how much thrill they will have you say you see your hair still what is that stupid <laughs> finished that day wherever they go they will become upset tell your husband when he dress up beautiful but don't show outside eh? <laughs> you are so beautiful everybody will look at you <laughs> tell like that make them happy in their life if you don't make them happy who else will make them happy somebody else will make them happy then you will lose them <laughs> then you will become unhappy so therefore to become happy the best way is to make them happy so that you can retain happiness and don't try to say that your neighbor's wife is beautiful correct no then your spouse will take the neighbor's husband is beautiful i am going with her because you think you are great and you think the other person is not suitable to you you will love somebody only when you become like this you become like that then you will not be the husband or the wife of that person you will become husband and wife of somebody else right? correct no accept people as they are accept people as they are don't try to change and love love and change if you want don't change and love that's not possible okay so this is the message which i have i've asked to stop at 10 o'clock the no, one minute i'm crossed so we'll get back at 11 o'clock huh? 11 o'clock